Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mr. Boylan. We are gonna do some Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures practice. Uh, it seems daunting, it's got a really intense name, but it's really simple. Uh, problem number one says oxygen gas uh, from the decomposition of potassium chlorate was collected by water displacement. The barometric pressure and the temperature during the experiment were 731 millimeters mercury and 20.0 degrees Celsius, respectively. What was the partial pressure of the oxygen? Okay, so the first thing to remember is what the heck Dalton's law of partial pressure says. It says, that, it says that the atmospheric pressure is equal to the pressure of our gas plus the pressure of the water vapor. Now we're told in the problem that the barometric pressure or the pressure of the atmosphere measured by a barometer is 731.0 millimeters mercury. So again, don't be confused by that barometric or measured by a barometer. It's just talking about the device that measures the pressure of the atmosphere. We wanna know what the partial pressure of the gas is, in this case, oxygen gas, at 20 degrees Celsius. I don't know what to do. How can I have two missing variables? Fear not, that's where this reference list is gonna come into play. It's just a matter of recognizing what the partial pressure of water is at 20 degrees Celsius. So a quick look at my reference sheet tells me that the partial pressure of water vapor at 20 degrees Celsius is 17.5 millimeters mercury. So I simply plug that 17.5 millimeters mercury into my formula for Dalton's law of partial pressures. A quick subtraction leads me to the partial pressure of the oxygen gas to be 713.5 millimeters mercury. Boom, partial pressure oxygen gas, and we're done. 